Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 5th to the 11th of February 2018. We begin the week with Venus squaring off to Jupiter. So this is all about our self-worth. Venus is travelling very close to the Sun and was next to the Sun at the recent Leo eclipse. So this year starts with a great deal of heart and sovereignty. Jupiter wants us to expand. So in order to be able to expand from the heart, we need to first look in and see where our feelings are towards deserving and receiving, to see where we're diminishing ourselves and to challenge any limitations and blocks, any base beliefs, challenge them bravely and honestly so they can be dismissed and replaced with something more sovereign, creating emotional patterns of acceptance and glory that serve us going forward. So this year is all about the purity of the heart. And with the Sun and Venus in Aquarius, this is the unconditioned. This isn't just emotion for the sake of emotion. This isn't sentimentality. This isn't just feeling the same thing over and over again. This is actually cleaning up our energy field so that when we radiate, because the heart is a giant transmitter, when we radiate out, it's with purity and the highest vibration. And I feel the whole year is going to be about our mastery of our heart energy and how we can cleanse our emotional field and step into our purity. So this is something that's going to permeate the entire year. As we go through the rest of the year, it will be then where do we put our valuable energy? Is it towards people and events that are resonant, supportive and magnificent? Or are we stuck giving our energy away, letting others drain us, or putting our vitality into old projects and old plans that are built of obligation, responsibility, and drudgery? So a very useful square here with Venus and Jupiter saying, where are you limiting yourself? What really matters? Where are there blocks? Where is there darkness inside? Where is there past? energy that's ready to be brought up and released so that we can work with that energy field and step into our purity. At this time of year we celebrate Imolk which is the returning of life to the planet. This is all about purity, simplicity and letting go of the past. Nurturing a new vision, how we can do things differently and more simply and expand ourselves into the new cycle. So very good timing here. We're also between eclipses, so it's a very quiet time. It might not seem it, but anything that's confusing around you is actually showing you what you can uh, cleanse. So it's a time of spring cleaning, slowing right down to view things with fresh eyes and fresh perspective. So if we look back six months to the last eclipse pairing, then we can witness the journey that we've been on. The next eclipse comes in on the 15th and that will be the new moon in Aquarius starting the year of the earth dog in the Chinese calendar. So we'll be going from fire to earth at that point and from the roost to the dog so things slow really right down and we're coming from a place of heart and presence. So in preparation for that between these two eclipses practice presence, practice simplicity and reconnect with the heart. So the whole week really be still, observe. But there's a deep mystery and magic comes in in the middle of the week as the moon meets with Jupiter in Scorpio. So very, very deep. We plunge into the mysterious side of life. We only see 5% of the light spectrum. We only hear 5% of the audio spectrum. 95% of the world is happening beyond our five senses. So if we stop long enough, we tune in with our intuition and we can feel the beauty and the magic around us and receive the gifts and the signs. Stop and notice them and increase our intuitive awareness. So a sense of magic and simplicity permeates the middle of the week. By Friday, Venus prepares to leave Aquarius having purified our hearts, having raised our frequency and having reconnected us with our true identity and simplified all the stories of the mind. So Venus moves into Pisces by the weekend and this is the 
deep etheric waters of our imagination. Our imagination is the incubator of our dreams. So when we tune in with our feelings, when we tune in with our resonant frequency, when we tune in with our imagination and our intuition, we can clearly know what it is that we care about and who we are without the mind getting in the way. So by the 10th and 11th, choosing what we care about, feeling deeply into it, nurturing it, and then getting ready to amplify the feeling of it will be the journey that Venus takes us on in Pisces. So a very gentle week, very still between the eclipses, getting ready for a change of energy at the next new moon, clearing up any last debris, going deep within, challenging our thoughts and our emotions, which ones we don't want to take forwards, and slowing the pace. Life isn't about being busy, it's about being authentic and genuine, transmitting our true frequency and knowing who we really are. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. I would love to meet you if you'd like to have a look at your birth chart soul plan one-to-one. -one. I'm available in London and over Skype. I also run a number of meetup groups and have some exciting tours to sacred sites coming up over the summer. There's also my membership group and my online courses and a number of products, so please do come and check my website, www.astrozo.com, or email me, zoehind7 at gmail.com.